Hey, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to basically uh, scrape Google Maps for particular things, particular locations, let's say. So let me add um, uh, one page here. Uh, delete that. All right, so let's say we go to Google Maps. So we search this um, any location, let's say here for like, uh, let's say restaurants restaurants right and uh, here you see the restaurant right what if i wanted a list of all the restaurants all right let's do it um, or something like that so in this case we're going to use epify uh, create an account link is going to be perhaps in the description below if it's not in the description below you can find it uh, i think so let's just write down you go to the actors click on google maps uh, uh, scraper yeah just click on it and then basically this is like a scraper right is um is an actor and like in epify you have actors and tasks actor is like a kind of like micro template of a task and uh, so you wanted to make a kind of like a task so save as new task click on that and um, yeah let me just move this away cool so uh, search and location blah blah start urls yeah this is what you want so all you need to do is basically, uh, I already made a list of URLs that I want to scrape search items, right? In this case, like we are searching like, um, yeah, we are searching like, um, like this, but um, let me just go one second in Google Maps, uh, just for, uh, yeah. Um, all right, so basically this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, the search, I just noticed there is a small, small issue. Uh, restaurant Italian, for example. I just want to see how does uh, the search look like. Okay, so the search looks like that. Alright, so I'm just going to make it. So it's going to be working. So I'm just going to delete this part and add the query parameters here. And then an end. And then I'm gonna say A1. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and basically London uh, Church. Let's say Church, London Church. Uh, something like that. Plus, uh, yeah. So this is the query. Now I also showed you how to make the query. Now let's go until here. Okay. So now we have the Google Maps query parameters. Let's test one of them to see if they actually work. So if I paste it here, I should be able to see uh, all churches in the B3 kind of district, I guess. Should be good. Okay, cool. So now we copy all the requests, right? Go back to here and uh, you can add them uh, in an advanced mode, I guess. No. Um, yeah, you can do it with a text file. So let's save a text file. Uh, so we have a text file, paste it, save it, desktop, uh, search, close it, upload text file, desktop, search, upload it. Right. So like this, we we uploaded everything, right? Uh, here the maximum is like we need we want all places, so we set 999. Um, always check every single part of the configuration. So export place URL only, include popular times, include the opening hours. I don't give a fuck about these things. Reviews, number of reviews is low. Uh, I don't give a fuck about who is the reviewer. So let's remove that. Advanced configuration, country. Yeah, show location country. I want it to be UK because I'm target. I'm trying to get UK shit and city uh, London in this case yeah uh, browser automatic proxy um, yeah let's leave it automatic maximum concurrency as you like basically if you set it to one it's gonna do the results in series if you set it to 100 it's gonna work in parallel so it's gonna use basically uh, multi-processing I guess so scrape all places no search terms case by moving mouse low 
So too fast, but he needs extra. Well, fuck that. Okay, cool. So we have everything, right? Now in the future, you can also give it to a friend. You see these settings here. You can just copy and paste them and like, kind of like um, do it again. Now you just click on start, and the crawler will be starting, and you'll be able to see the results basically easily, 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 easily. Let me just see if um, if it's working right now. Uh, now, I mean, the interface of uh, Apify changed a lot. It's so much nicer now. I really like it, to be honest. So, yeah. So let's see all fields overview. Uh, VS JSON. All right. So here you see basically somewhere here you see the logs, right? So you see what's gonna what's happening right now. So he has he found all the URLs, so that's good. And he's searching shit. And uh, I now imported list puppet puppeteer. Puppeteer is a basically is a really good JavaScript crawler. Um, but like I kind of like prefer um, Scrapy uh, by Python because I think it's faster than Puppeteer. Puppeteer is still fast, but he has like kind of like some kind of limitations, I guess, because like it's backed with uh, by Node, I guess. So it's not done for um, uh, some kind of task. So. Alright, so let's see the output. Uh, he's getting my data, but uh, if I click on storage, I should be able to see. Uh, uh, let's see if I can preview shit. Uh, empty. Maybe uh, open another tab. Yeah, you see, he's getting shit. And I have all the data, including the search, uh, the link, the name. Uh, the location and even the website, so I have everything basically. I even have, uh, yeah. Actually, sometimes less information is better because the scraper is going to be much faster, right? Less is more, uh, sometimes. And um, yeah, you still can like prioritize them basic on the score because like, kind of like the score can tell you more or less like is an indicator how much money they are making because if they're because like you know reviews are like uh, a process that happen uh, in really in the bottom of the funnel kind of so uh, yeah that's basically it so all right so you leave it and after like a couple of hours you come back and it's gonna have everything right that's basically it. Uh, so this was the tutorial uh, if you have any questions drop it in the comment below and i'll be happy to answer them all right until next time uh, if you are like also like if you have some visual suggestions i'm kind of getting gathering them right now so you can drop it again in the comment bar below uh, i'll be happy to answer any question you might have uh, if i have time I'll, i'm a little bit busy right now um, because of my schedule and uh, working like on truth businesses at the moment uh, so yeah cool uh, see you later